a very important blog post by someone going by the name of Lauren Ragland has appeared on the internet this week. And what that blog post does is it lays out the mysterious connections between individuals who have gone missing, been put in prison under questionable charges, or died or been killed in mysterious ways. All of these people have connections because they were critical of the BP oil spill or may have had knowledge of wrongdoing on the part of British Petroleum. Now, some people are obviously connected to the oil spill. Others, we can only speculate on what they knew. And Reglan didn't include all of the links uh, on her blog post. So we went down the rabbit hole, checked them all out. They're linked down below in the description uh, so you can take a better look and kind of follow along as this video proceeds. But definitely something is stinky about this. Um, and it seems like all of these critics were, were trying to be silenced. Right. Now, the first case is Gregory Stone. He was an LSU scientist specializing in, you know, marine related issues. And he died of an unknown illness. He is the most recent person to die. These go in reverse chronological order. So, you know, from the most recent person uh, to the uh, case that happened the furthest away about a year ago. So this Gregory Stone died on February 7th, 17th, 2011. Now in early 2007, January 26th, Anthony Nicholas Tremonti uh, was arrested um, for child porn charges. And Tremonti worked in the Mississippi Department of Marine Resources uh, as an officer there. Now his charge is interesting because they went in to his house, seized his laptop, and then found the porn charge, which is very similar to the case of Dr. Thomas B. Manton, who died on January 19th, 2011. He was the former president and CEO of the International Oil Spill Control Corporation. He supposedly had one count of child porn on his computers, which he and his family members said was put there, planted there. They found it. They put him in regular prison and because of that accusation you know having child porn he was killed in prison but we can only speculate whether he was killed randomly by a prisoner or whether there was you know darker motives at play there and who knows what you know maybe someone was paid off to kill him who knows who it's knows? pretty it's, intense there's, there's, speculation, a, there's a lot of speculation but right now. the fact that he had a porn charge leveled against him and which is the same thing a week later, what happened to Anthony Nicholas Tremonte, who as an right. officer, as, as kind of a, a law enforcement, a porn charge does a lot more to discredit him. Right. Now, this next case is one of those cases we talked about. There's a lot of speculation as to their connection. Uh, John P. Wheeler II was a former Pentagon official and a presidential aide and defense consultant uh, and an expert on chemical and biological weapons. Uh, he was beaten to death and his body was discovered in a landfill. Right. Obviously... No one wanted uh, the, the the people who did this didn't want uh, his body discovered um, or, or really even known that he was that he was gone. There's been a lot of media speculation about why John P. Wheeler was killed because he is one of the most high profile people, if not the highest profile person on here. He served, as you said, in the administration of George W. Bush. Media reports said that he was seen the day before, kind of disoriented and woozy. So who knows what else went on before Wheeler was, was eventually found dead. Now, James Patrick Black uh, was an incident commander for BP's Gulf of Mexico oil spill response team. And he died on November 23rd, 2010, uh, near Destin, Florida, in a small plane crash. In November of 2010, Chitra Shauhan, who was a 33-year-old woman who worked at the University of South Florida for the Center for Biological Defense and Global Health Infectious Disease Research was said to have killed herself by taking a cyanide tablet. Interestingly enough, she doesn't really fit the profile of someone who would do that. She was a new mother and the wife to a new father. Yeah, Dr. Jeffrey Gardner, a swan doctor, there's very little about his uh, status, his this person online, but this website says, and, and the other things we found through, through Googling his name, uh, November 2010, he went missing. 
He was a swan expert who was looking into the cases you may have heard of large groups of birds just up and dying in the Gulf region. So he was looking into that. He's now missing. No real explanation as to where he went or what his status is. Roger Gruders was a cyclist uh, who was cycling from California to Florida to raise awareness for the BP oil spill towards the end of the cycle, he was hit by a truck. He was 66, um, and so what his family has done is they're finishing the race, or, or they've finished the last leg uh, in order to honor him and to continue to raise awareness for the BP oil spill. Now, the case of Tenator, Senator Ted Stevens is an interesting one because uh, he was a recipient, supposedly, uh, of a whistleblower's communication relative to the BP oil disaster uh, blowout preventer. And um, it's interesting because his plane crashed in uh, August 9th, 2010, and that crash killed other people as well up in Alaska, killed nine people um, on board the 1957 the Havilland DHC-3 Otter plane, a small little plane. Um, and it went down and the, the National Transportation Safety Board is still under investigation, still looking into exactly what went wrong with that flight. So his case is open. Uh, he's one of the people who we don't really know. We're not really sure of his connection to this, but it appears that he may have had some knowledge that could have been very harmful to BP. Matthew Simmons was an activist who was speaking out uh, against the Gulf oil spill. He was found dead in his hot tub of an appar apparent uh, cardiac arrest uh, incident. Um, and again, his connection to BP and to this oil spill isn't widely known, uh, but he was an activist and he was very critical mm -hmm. of BP and of this oil spill. And the last person on the list uh, is scientist Joseph Morrissey, who died on April 6, 2010. Uh, he was a cell biologist and college professor, and he was a near Florida, a near native Floridian who chose to return to South Florida after studying at elite universities, and he was fatally shot during what police say was a home invasion robbery. So very tragic cases, very strange cases. We urge you to check these things out for yourself. We have all the links down below for you to look into each of these people's uh, cases. Yeah, we don't really have the resources to be going out investigating this on our own, being out here from California, but we're hoping that the more and more this story is talked about, uh, we're hoping that some mainstream outlets pick it up and some investigations will be launched.